Hello, I am Hussein Abbas. You can find me on Twitter and elsewhere on internet as Hussein Web. Today, we are going to talk about how to install JavaScript libraries in correct location for Drupal using Composer. And there are three main steps. Uh, I'm just splitting up one of these into a separate step for clarity. Since it's a JavaScript library, not a PHP package, you have to make it available to Composer somehow. If it's already on packages, then you don't need to do anything. Otherwise, you have to add it to, to a repository section with something like this. Uh, this is the repository section in your in your composer.json file. And if you're using Drupal, you'd already find one entry over there. So the first option is to add it over here using a whole different syntax. We'll not look at that right now. You can find examples on internet. If it's already on packages, you don't need to do this. Once this is done, you need to make sure that the type is set to Drupal library. Now, the library that we're going to look at today, the example library, it's not set to Drupal library. So we'll be looking at a workaround in that case. In any of these cases, you still have to add that particular type to, to installer types and installer paths. And that's not really present in the default composer.json that comes with Drupal. You do have installer paths. You would be getting this if you're using this Drupal composer projects, the template. You would have this and you would be adding that library over here. Uh, so you can see that Drupal library is already added. And now if that JavaScript library is already using Drupal library, you don't need to do anything else over here. Or you can, in fact, specify the name of the library as well. So today, like I said, we are going to use chosen. Uh, we'll be adding chosen library to this section. And you still need to do something else uh, after this, which we'll talk about in a minute. Finally, you run composer require with the library's composer name. And in our case, we don't need to do that because the Drupal module we are going to use chosen, it already includes the JavaScript library's name. You still need to add it to the repositories, but you don't need to add the library itself. You just need to include your module and you would get the JavaScript library in the correct location anyway. So enough talk, let's try this out. Now I already have this a Drupal 9 site installed. This works with Drupal 8 as well. I'm just demoing it on Drupal 9 because why not? And like you can see, I've already run. This is the default template. I have uh, I have a template generation tool and I have run that with core version 9.0, as you can see. And I'm going to, uh, this has already run Compose install for me. Uh, it has also set up a Lando template and I have that site running over here. You can see that it's, uh, Okay, just got installed, so I'm just let this set up and we'll be trying out our module over here. This is the module we are going to try. Now, the reason I'm picking this module because some time back I contributed this module, I updated the readme file and put in the instructions on how to add the JavaScript library to the correct location. But I think there is still some confusion around this and uh, there have been issues coming up talking about the same problem. So I thought, you know, why not create a video that clearly explains what we need to do over here. For the purpose of this video, we'll follow the instructions in the readme as much as possible. All right, uh, I think the site is up. Fine, uh, we don't need to do anything right now over here. And this is the composer.json file that you can see in the editor. All right, so the very first thing I would suggest you do is, you know, even though the step appears quite later, you can run this in the beginning itself. If in your case, your uh, you're already including this package, you don't need to do anything, but uh, running this command won't do any harm. So you might as well run it. And uh, what this package does is um, we need to talk about the installer type system that's present in Composer. Well, not in Composer, there is this a specific package called Composer slash installers. And what this allows you to do is uh, for various types of different PHP systems, you know, it supports it, it, it makes these types available. And using this installer path setting, what you can see over here, using this installer path setting, you can specify where a particular package needs to go. This is actually responsible for placing Drupal, uh, Drupal modules and Drupal themes in the correct location. Uh, otherwise, 
you might be familiar that composer always puts everything in vendor we don't want that over here it, it, not even in case of drupal modules drupal modules need to be present in the doc root directory or the web directory the directory where you have the core directory so uh, these settings so uh, uh, for example this type for type drupal module and all drupal modules uh, anything that you pull from drupal's own packages which is specified over here they have this set they have the type set to drupal module which makes them go into this particular directory web slash module slash control and uh, this might already be in your template if you're already familiar with composer setup for drupal there's nothing new over here all right so we're going to use the same system but we're going to put our javascript library in a particular directory now this uh, library for chosen you know the library that we need it's it already has a composer.json file and it is actually already on packages but the problem is that it is set to a type library library is quite generic we we can do this we can say that um, you know so apart from drupal library anything that is type library should go to web slash libraries but library is also used for it's actually the default so regular composer packages would end up in web slash libraries we don't want that of course which is why what we are going to do is follow the documentation uh, let me open that yeah so follow the documentation and it says that okay so for this installer parts we already have this drupal library like the documentation says and uh, modify the entry about to add harvest hq slash chosen so we are going to do that we are just going to add this so we are adding this by name there are there is a variety of syntax that you can use to uh, make this setting uh, the type is one convention so all packages which have type drupal library go into this directory in our case like i said it's it's set to library which is not great i have a pr open since forever that asks to change it to npm asset i'll talk about npm asset later so we are just going to set it to the name so now Composer Installer Extender is a separate package. You know, uh, it does not act on all packages. So uh, even though, even when we add Harvest HQ slash chosen, uh, Composer Installer's Extender won't be able to pick it up until we explicitly say that, okay, you know, these are the pick packages that you can pick. The list that you see over here, these are the only supported package types. So if our type happened to be one of these, we would be fine you know for example if this uh, if this uh, javascript library specified type of drupal library we would be fine we would not have to do anything else over here at all all right so what do we need to do so we need to tell composer slash installers that library also happens to be a valid package type or if it was npm asset npm asset also happens to be a valid package type we need to tell that and that is why we have installed this package Composer Installers Extender by Umfink. We have installed this package and this basically lets us add these different types of um, installers. So we are going to add this. We already have an extra section. Just going to copy this or we could have copied this from our readme section also right over here. And I'm going to add that to my extra section. So right after installer parts, I'm going to add this installer types library. Well, just to recap, we didn't need to add this to the repositories because chosen JavaScript library is already on packages, right? We could have done that anyway, and you know we could have specified type as Drupal library. That works as well. That's uh, essentially a very very long uh, entry that looks something like this. You know, uh, like you can see, uh, someone has suggested this as well, and which is fine. You know, this works, but you need to specify all of these, everything, package and the package. Uh, the name of the package the version and everything and if once you specify the version you don't have the ability to get updates automatically whenever there's an update you would have to go over here and make the update manually over here and then you'll be able to get the update in your composer file so that's a long way around um, i prefer just using packages in this case because it will let you packages will track updates and you don't have to worry about it the only thing we need to worry about over here unfortunately is that it is set to library and once this gets merged then you know the, the worry is lesser because more people tend to have npm asset because there is a 
thing called asset packages and you know like chosen is one library but not not all javascript libraries are and that is why you have something called asset packages and you can actually find chosen over here as well that's another way you could have included uh, npm chosen js using npm asset there is whole documentation over here on how to get that you need to add this line repositories like how we add uh, drupal packages as a repository we need to add asset packages as a repository if you're already doing this then great you can specify this asset packages and use this npm hyphen asset slash chosen js you still have to specify the only step you would have to do over here would be adding the installer types as npm asset because that's the installer type it sets and uh, setting this type npm asset so that you know we want all npm assets to go into web slash libraries over here but let's not do that over here i'm just going to do undo all of these changes uh, we'll just use the regular packages over here and for that we have specified that this particular javascript library chosen library should go into web slash libraries that's where drupal picks it up and we have told the composer installer system that okay library is a valid installer type do consider it when you're going to place it in the installer path all right now we are ready to run our command as any other drupal module i'm just going to run composer required drupal slash chosen so let's see what happens now yeah, it's just resolving now like i said chosen module already has a dependency on um, uh, on the javascript library so we'll be seeing that okay we have using version 2.9 for drupal slash chosen which is great uh, chosen supports both drupal 8 and 9 which is why it's working and you can see that it's also installing harvest hq slash chosen because the chosen module has a composer or json which specifies the dependency on harvest hq slash chosen all right so let's see where did it place the directory we'll just take a look at our vendor directory first doesn't look like there is a harvest hq directory over there you can be sure like you can see there is no harvest hq over here so let's look in our libraries and we see all the files present over here all right let's enable the module and i'll use trust to enable i think essentially the task is done right now this is just okay uh, i think i need to fix this in my template generation directory actually it shouldn't take long to fix for now so I'm, i just need to put it in settings.php did it say okay let's try this again i can hear the fans spinning <laughs> there is docker uh, lando is basically a docker wrapper there is docker running and there's a browser running and chrome and firefox and recording of course so okay it's enabled let's see if the module generates a report uh, like puts the notice in the status report if if it can find a library or not and that should be enough for us if the module finds a library over there then we are good chosen javascript file installed i think that's good enough for us for now we don't really have a select list over here i can create one but that's just going to lengthen the video i hope this video was useful thank you for watching and do not forget to like or subscribe and if you did not find this useful, if you would like me to cover something else, please do let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.